You are the explorer. Give me a hand. I wish to find a lost city. Percy Harrison Fawcett was really the last of these great terrestrial explorers who would venture into these blank spots on the map a little more than a machete, a compass, and an almost divine sense of purpose. The weird thing about Percy Fawcett is I'd never heard of him. And I love the history of exploration. I'm fascinated by uh, Captain Cook's ex exploration across the Pacific, Livingston and Stanley in Africa. I live for that stuff, and I'd never heard of Percy Fawcett. Early on, he began to explore the Amazon in the early 1900s, which was really this large last blank spot on the map. He was tasked by the Royal Geographical Society, uh, who themselves were tasked with, with solving this problem by, by being an impartial uh, party that uh, would, both sides of the dispute would agree on and they would accept their results. So that so was quite, quite important. But uh, also he got, he had the luxury of doing something that mappers and surveyors are no longer able to do and he filled in a blank space. It was this big empty area and he, he got to go and fill it in. It was a very arduous task, but that's just not possible these days. It's hard for us to understand now, but the world still had big blank spaces left on the map. You, you get in the 1880s, you get the last bits of the American Southwest around the Grand Canyon being gradually filled in. Uh, in the, that period as well, you see people traveling across Africa and trying to make sense of that vast continent. Uh, and right up into the 20th century, Amazonia was this last great wilderness, and, and many people, m people didn't know what was there. The country's borders just ran through it on some agreed line that someone had worked out thousands of miles away in, a, in an office. Uh, and so, Explorers were needed to get out on the ground, pound the, pound the earth, and, and, and work out what was where. Mountain ranges, rivers, uh, and find out, really, to keep, keep that business of auditing what is on this planet. Fossil was very unusual uh, for explorers in that day, um, especially uh, European explorers who were going. Many of them would come in with these large parties. They were often armed. They would often shoot first and ask questions later. Fawcett went in with very small parties, and he refused to let his men fire on the natives. And there's a scene in the movie which reflects exactly what happened, the way Fawcett's companions described it, which is during an encounter they were um, being attacked. He ordered his men to drop his weapons. He took off a handkerchief. They always wore handkerchiefs because they were always being attacked from mosquitoes. He took it off, he waved it over his head, and in kind of mad Edwardian fashion, told his men to save, sing God Save the Queen. Um, and that was the way he showed that he was not a threat. The idea of doing what these Victorian Edwardian uh, people did is, is mind-blowing. They didn't know where they were going. They had, they had inappropriate food which spoiled. They didn't know how to live off the land. They didn't know what things were safe to eat or not and they were beset by diseases. That's the thing that we can't even understand. If I go somewhere now, I make sure I have all my inoculations before I go. And I've had malaria and it's horrible. I've had, you know, tummy complaints and it's pretty bad. But those guys had that times a million. And it, so that using iron self-discipline, they're getting a lot, they're, they're moving, they're keeping the expedition going, even though they must have been just hobbled by sickness and chronic pain, just pain in itself. Uh, and no understanding of what was causing it. And and then the mental trauma, the emotional trauma of actually burying your, your, your friends, your companions along the way. These, on these expeditions, people died on the way. And that's something that I think we, if we go on little adventures nowadays, we can't even understand. What's amazing about Percy Fawcett is that he was once one of the most famous people on the planet. Um, there was a time where people followed this journey into the jungle. It was one of the first kind of mass news stories. People read about it in every continent. There were plays written about Fawcett. He inspired the character of Indiana Jones. There was a character in Tintin about Fawcett. But then gradually, he kind of disappeared from memory. And I think one of the reasons he disappeared from memory was because there was kind of an assumption that, well, did he actually discover anything? And that what now we're learning today is in fact there really are these ancient ruins in the very place where he was looking. And that in fact in many ways he was right and he was prophetic. You and I are explorers now. <laughs> we might be a little bit too English for this jungle. The journey may well mean your life. What kind of fool am I to leave my family? What of your obligation to mother? You do not think of us. 
Everything your father has done has been for you. We've made a journey that other men cannot even imagine.